Well, hello, my friends. I'm popping in today because I um, was testing out some new stencils that are in the shop and kind of preparing for a lesson, you know, to use them. And I had some leftover paint on my palette and I thought, you know, this is kind of what I do with my stencils. I thought maybe this might help you get some ideas for stenciling as well. So I've got out here one of the new stencils in the shop and I've got some, you can see my messy palette here. I've got some leftover paint on here. And so I've got a piece of parchment paper out and a piece of just regular tissue paper. It's about the size of my stencil about 8 by 10 somewhere in there and um, got that down and I've just I'm just gonna go into some of the paint that's on my palette my leftover paint this is a great way to use up your paint that's left over on your palette and I'm just using a brush I'm not looking for a perfect stencil this is just fun playtime and you never know what you're going to get, so I kind of mix it all over the place. And we'll see what we got. So the tissues, the nice thing about the tissue paper is it's, it's super absorbent. And so there you go. Beautiful, fun tissue paper for backgrounds. And then I'll set that aside and I will put another piece of tissue paper down, put this on top of it, grab another piece of tissue paper, and pull a print. And these are usually my favorite. I mean that's super fun, great collage material. So you could turn it over and you've got the, num the numbers are correct. So, um, and you guys, I think you've seen me put tissue paper down to make it go transparent. Uh, let me set this aside real quick and we'll do another one. And see, sometimes you even get like leftovers on the bottom. Sometimes I'll just take this and, you know, clean off any extra on there. And then you get some really fun, unexpected um, bits. So let's uh, let's do this one. I think I'll do. I think I want. I can't decide. What do I want? What do I want? Well, let's do. So I've got some. Still got some leftover paint here. So I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go for it and. This really was kind of, I wasn't planning on filming this. I just thought, you know, I'm doing it. I might as well show you guys what I do um, to use up my paint on my palette. And, yikes. Um, and to kind of test out new stencils too. To kind of get an idea of their pattern, their flow, what works, what doesn't work. Um, all that kind of stuff. So um, I thought I would take you along for the ride. And I, I love doing it this way because there's no expectation for a perfect stencil image or anything like that. And it's just play. It's just fun. Try not to get that too creased. So cute. Okay, let me put that over there. Get another piece of tissue paper. Put that down. This one's one of my favorites. They're all, I, I, I just love stencils. They're just so great to create with. So pull a print of this, see what I get. Don't leave your tissue paper on there too long because it'll get stuck. But look at, oh my goodness. Oh, that just makes me happy. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna pull that off. Look how cute, I'm gonna put this back down. I just pulled it off so it wouldn't get stuck. Kinda put it back in its spot. 
here a little bit. And then the other thing I like to do <clears throat> is I have a I have a container with black paint. This is actually black gesso and a roller that I keep and um, I keep it in a Ziploc bag so it's always ready to go for me. Um, and then <clears throat> this is a I love using a roller um, to get quick collage papers on my tissue paper or any paper for that matter. You could do this on any paper. Um, it doesn't have to be tissue paper. Look at how gorgeous. So let me put this down here. I'm going to grab another piece of tissue paper. Put this down, take a print. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You can't get a... Oh, so good. So very, very good. Just makes me happy. And you got kind of this shadow print down there. I love that. So, see, I can start getting all excited here because this is just so good. And I'm just going to... I'm going to use these up or use up my paint here, take a print of this, so that's gorgeous, look at how awesome that is. These, the new stencils are like instant backgrounds, I have no place to put them, I have no, I've got papers everywhere. Put this down. And you don't have to put a tissue paper underneath it. Um, if you've got parchment paper down, but I, I never know if stuff's going to seep out. Sometimes it's that's the best stuff, like random pattern. And so that's why I always keep a piece of tissue paper underneath because it could be a treasure. <laughs> yes! So I can turn it over and all the numbers are right. So... Let me put this one down here on the floor where there's no space because I have papers. Never know. All right. And then let's see. What else do we have here? <laughs> it's like a kid in a candy store. Where's the other one at? This one. No, we did that. Nope. Okay. So let's do a combo. I don't know, what should we do? I'm gonna do one in black because I know I'll always use black for projects. I, and I, if I could have a container with rollers in them of, of all my favorite colors, I would, but that's hard to do um, because it's just so easy. So very easy. I don't know where to put things anymore. Tissue paper, come on, tissue paper. Of course, it's all sticking together. This is what happens when you just turn on the camera. Okay. Now, you could, um, I could have just turned that over and printed it. I like doing it this way for some odd reason. I just messed up my design there. Oh well, that's okay. Oh. That just makes me happy. It's got all those gears in there. So, you know, you get the positive and the negative. Thank you very much. And then what you can do, I'm going to come back over here to my paint. I'm going to, this is still kind of wet with some black and we're going to let it get all mixed and grungy and I just want to clean up the rest of this paint here. You can see how it's getting all gray and 
going to let that happen. Okay. That's great. I love that one. Okay. Bring this back over here. I'm going to pull a print of this one. And then we're going to clean it off again. And I'll show you what I like to do with that. Okay. Ooh, that is, oh, I love, 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 love the colors in that. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. Oh, so good. Okay, so let me find a spot for this. But right there. Now I'm going to grab my rag and get it a little bit wet. Yikes. I've got tissue paper like stuck to every place. Hang on one second here. Okay, so I've got my rag and it's wet and I'm just going to clean off my stencil onto, this is, I've got my tissue paper down. Another piece of tissue paper. Doing a quick clean. Sometimes this that's not much, but you just never know what you're going to get. So I, I don't, I try not to waste any of it. Like this is really great, really kind of grungy. Okay. So let me show you, um, oh my goodness. So I've got four of these, they're called layered up stencils. So you've seen this one. This is one that you haven't seen. Let me show you it. So look at how pretty that, that one's backwards actually. I should probably, okay. So here's the story behind this one. Um, right before I turned on the camera, I was working on another project. I set my heat tool on to my stencil and it melted. Luckily, I know where to get another one. But this is probably one of my favorites too. Let me see if I can pull a print of the non-damaged part of this stencil. So it's got the flourish, like the Spanish tiles or the tiles in it. It's really pretty. So, so pretty. So, let me pull this over. Put that down here. Okay. So, we've got this stencil, which is the one we just did. This one. This stencil. This stencil. And this stencil. And these are called layered up because they're like instant backgrounds. You have to do, I mean, and they're perfect for collage papers because now I can come in and just take a bit and a piece of them and use them for collage papers. So there's four of those. So um, one, two, three, and four. And then put that aside. And I'll, I wanted to show you another thing with stenciling real quick. Okay, so this paper, um, it has got a fluid matte medium on it, so it's not porous. And um, I've got two other stencils here, two florals that um, I just want to show you. So this is one, and this is the other. <clears throat> this is called um, Peonies and Buds, or Peonies, Buds and Blooms, and just Peonies Blooms. 
And one of the things that I love to do, let me grab some of my paint, and I'm just dipping my finger right into my, let me scooch this over, dipping my finger right into my leftover paint here. Um, I like to just kind of tap down, and I got a lot of paint there, so, but I like to kind of just, instead of using a um, sponge or whatever you, a st stippling tool or whatever you like to use for stenciling, um, and then press it out, press it out into the stencil. And um, this is an imperfect way of stenciling, and I love it. So I went into this lighter color here, and I'm kind of going in the way of the, in the direction of the petals, and I'm still kind of pressing that out against the sides of the stencil. And then maybe I'll come in with some of this magenta. And press that out and then lift that up. And look at how gorgeous that is. Um, it's it, Now, if you're wanting like a perfect stenciled image, this is not for you. <laughs> let me, like, so let me, let me come in here. If you want this, which is great for a lot of things, and I do this too. Um, that's great, but look at how uh, interesting, how deep, how rich, and how, where you can take this stencil image. Um, I got a great mark there from all the leftover underneath. Oh, very nice. That would be great on a stent on a tish piece of tissue tissue paper. So I want to put this back down here over this. And I'm not going to get it in there just right. But I want to come back now with some more color and show you what I mean. I'm trying to hold this up so it doesn't get in the other one. I'm just going to push this out against the sides like I did on the other one. Just so that you can kind of see <clears throat> how different it feels. And by adding different colors as you're doing this, really gives it an artistic feel. Yeah, so I've got a little bit of extra here, which is okay. It's okay with me. Oh, I got, I got all kinds of paint on my hand too. But look at how amazing that looks. Okay, I wanna do that again. Let's, I'm just practicing and playing with you, so I hope you don't mind. So, I love that. So great. So, um, now I could take this and cut it out and use it in a piece, or I could do this on my whatever piece I want to do. Mm -hmm. So, I've used up all my paint now, and so now I have to get more. <laughs> Uh, a little bit of that, a little bit of magenta, and a little bit more of this one. So let's see what we get with this one. I can't decide which one I want to do. So maybe I'll start with a little bit of the purple. And I'm just kind of tapping this in with my brush. You can use your finger. And then I'll kind of come in and push it around. And what happens is you're pushing this up against the sides of the stencil. It's giving you depth. It's giving you dimension. Plus, you're removing some of that from that from the middle part of the stencil. So it's giving you a, a layer of value, like lights and darks. Then if you come back in, so I've got some paint on here, and I'm just gonna kinda go in the, in the direction of the petals. Maybe kinda tap it in here. Then I'll come back in with some maybe some light here, and tap this in here. Maybe kinda rub that in a little bit more. 
And the thing is, you really never know what you're going to get. So if you want predictability, probably not this technique. <clears throat> look at that. So now, look, if you can see, I, can, I don't know if you can see all the lines. So I've got all the lines of the stencil there. So let me grab, so I've got all these lines of the stencil in here. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Oh my goodness. And so I've got some black out here. black in there. That's gorgeous. That's really gorgeous. Okay, so I love that. <clears throat> okay, let's do another one. Let's do this one. And maybe I'll Stencil this out with some purple. Show you what it looks like just normally. Or maybe I'll do this. Oh. Uh, we're an artist. We can change our mind, right? Get to do whatever we want. Got a little black on there, that's okay. A little orange in there. Okay, so I've added a different few a, a few colors in here. And now I'm just going to smush it around. Look at how amazing that is. So this is like the center part, so I want to kind of maybe give that a little love here. A little bit of dark in there. So great. So this one, let's see, this one. Is that the one I know this one? So let's do it a little bit different on this one. Yikes. Let's go up here. So I got a little bit more room. I'm going to do a real light layer of this. This would be a great like vintage look. And I'll come in with a little bit of this portrait color, or whatever it's pink color. Okay. And then a little bit of this magenta, kind of maybe. And then maybe a little bit down here. And back a little bit with some purple. Kind of lighten that up a little bit. Just to get, you know, you got to give it some variety and you never know what you're going to get and you can always correct it with a brush stroke. Oh, that's gorgeous. So look at, look at how gorgeous that looks. Love it, love it, love it. So that's the peonies in bloom. Oops, I got tissue paper everywhere. Peonies and blooms and then this is, or peony blooms and buds and blooms. So I've got six new stencils in the shop and obviously I'm having fun playing with them because I get to share that with you. Look at how pretty! Um, and just maybe some different ways to think about stenciling. Of course there's always, you can always do gel prints and you know all the other ways but um, I was experimenting with these and I thought I would turn on the camera and show you what I was doing. 
And then um, the next video, I'm going to take some of the papers that we just did and create a journal page.